take lessons every other week in a small group setting. You may have heard that this group had the distinct uh, honor of performing the national anthem at a Milwaukee Admirals game last month. These students worked really, really hard to memorize the Star Spindle Banner, meaning they had no music in front of them at all. Um, they played for several thousand fans, and we got upgraded to some like port side or ice side seats that were really awesome. So this group has worked really hard this year. Um, if you're interested in seeing some pictures from our performance, they are up on the West Middle School Band's website, which you can find um, on the district website under the staff links under my name. Here to introduce the first piece for our eighth grade band is Emily Schmidt.
that we played this year by far. It's a really cool piece. Before we play our last piece of the evening, there are so many people that I'd like to thank for their contributions to the West Mill School Music Program. First, I'd like to thank my colleague, Jacob Warren, sitting at the back, recording, and taking video. Thank you, Jacob. I'd also like to thank our custodial staff and chaperones for all of their help tonight. Without them, tonight would not be possible. Thank you also to the entire staff of West Middle School for being so supportive of our music students um, and working with us for our lesson schedule. Um, I also want to thank my band colleagues at East Middle School, Kristen Honory and Cynthia Kostick, as well as Gary Everett at the elementary level. A special thanks to our administrators here at West Middle School, Michael Maxson and Megan Ahrens, and our district superintendent, Dr. Tim Culver, for showing great support for our, our fine arts department. We are so lucky um, to be at Oak Creek and to have the music program that we have with the support from our administration for both art and music. We're so thankful to provide our students with such amazing opportunities to perform like this one. And last, but certainly not least, thank you to all of you, parents, grandparents, guardians, for having your student in the music program here at West. Um, you drive them to practices, you pick them up for jazz band after school, you give them what they need, you make them practice at home, and I greatly appreciate that, so thank you very much. Um, before we perform the last piece, there are a couple students that I want to recognize. Some eighth graders uh, who represented Oak Creek West Middle School at the UW uh, at Milwaukee um, Honors Band Festival in November. Um, will these students, could you please stand when I call your name? Nick Carbone, Jack Dusky, and Elijah Scott. Hold a round of applause for these students. And here to introduce our last piece of the evening is Angela Olin. Hello, my name is Angela Olin, and I play the clarinet. This final piece will really put you in the mood for the holidays. It will surely remind you that we all have an inner child, deep down inside of us. Originally performed by Gail Apini in 1953, this popular tune seems familiar to almost all of us. Not only is it a widely known holiday song, but the thick, perky melody has all those bouncing in as we Since this piece is played in 6 8 time, it truly really gave our band a new skill to learn. We have never played as a band in a 6 8 time signature before. This means the piece will be faster and shorter, which makes it harder to play. Yet the interesting notes, fast rhythms, and complicated melodies make all of us, including me, stronger musicians. Winter time or not, this piece will always make me smile. Here is John Ross's renowned classic, I Want to Hit Upon This for Christmas. 